In Worship Tools Presenter, there are two ways to apply media backgrounds to your slides, and I'm talking specifically about these slides, not your songs or your scripture. The first method is fairly simple. Go to your service item editor with this pencil icon here, and you'll see that slides are already applied as the foreground of this specific item. So all we have to do is add a background. For this example, I'm going to use media, but you can select from any of these options here. From my media library, I'll select the background that I want for the announcements. So now you can see that this service item has a background and a foreground, and we're gonna hit launch. And now all the slides in my announcements deck have this gradient blue background to them. The second method is a little bit more complex but it allows you to have different media in different slides. So we'll use the welcome slides as an example and we're going to click the pencil icon within the slide itself and that will take us to the slides editor. Now you can see here that we have a text box and it's outlined by these dotted lines. You're going to click and hold your mouse on the empty space outside of those dotted lines and then drag it to create a new box. Here's our new box and you can see here in the left corner that it is designated as a text box. What we're going to do is designate it as a media box instead. So when I click media, it brings me to my media library like we saw earlier. And then I'm going to select the item that I want to go in this slide. Now that I have my welcome image into the slide, I can move it around and reposition it and resize it as well. Now let's say for my next slide, I want to add a background to it. We're going to do the same steps to create a new media box and then pick a media item to go in the background. We'll resize the box to be flush with all the four corners. And then now if you look over here on the right, you can see the preview of what the slide will look like. And there's no text on it because the media item is sitting on top of the text. So what we're going to do is right click on this media file here and then send it to the back. So it goes behind all the text that we had previously. Now we have media in the slides, but they're not in the background like they were on the announcement slides. 